In this video, we'll discuss how to translate and rotate various components in OpenVSP. If we click on this first pod geometry, it highlights that component, and we choose the Transform tab, we have access to the X, Y, and Z location and rotation. Now, if we choose to change the X location, Y location, or Z location, notice that we're following the directions as defined in this origin point. So here, Z is up, Y is right, and X is aft in those positive three directions. What we can also do is set the rotate origin in the X direction of this component. So right now, if we rotate about Y, notice that it's spinning about the nose about the Y axis direction. If we set this to the tail, or where X equals one, now we're rotating about that aft point. Now on a component like a wing that gives you access to the root incidence, there's actually two different ways that you can set this. It's usually good practice to just do it with the wing incidence, but we'll cover that more later. Right now with the pod, this is a general component, and notice that you can do that for anything under the Transform tab. We set that back to zero. You'll also notice that I have this relative flag active because this component is a child of the wing component. We're working in a relative coordinate system. If we turn this to absolute and say that we want the nose of this pod back at the origin, relative updated automatically because I have it attached. We'll cover that more in detail later, but right now know that it makes a difference which coordinate space you're dealing with. 